Hello, everybody. I'm back with a few more uh, interview questions and answers for Kubernetes. Uh, these questions come directly from my GitHub repo. I will put a link uh, to that repo down below in the description. So if you prefer a written version of the same thing, you can uh, use the um, GitHub repo for that. Uh, in video, however, uh, I can give you more context and I can uh, give you more details around, around it. All right, so first question today is, um, when you use Kubernetes expose command to create a service, there's two two ports that come up. There's there's the port, and there's the target port. What do they mean? Um, the reason the interviewer is, interviewer is asking this question is because he or she wants to know if you understand how services direct traffic, right? So the port on the YAML or what what have you is the port the service will respond on. So when somebody is calling the service, that's the port that it's going to go into. Now, when the service gets the request, it's going to take the request and send it to the pods. The target port are the ports that are open for the service on those pods. So there's basically front end and back end, right? So that's that's what those two keywords mean when you define when you're creating a service using the expose command. The next question is kind of giveaway given what we just talked about. So the, the idea of the question is uh, in an interview, they can, somebody can ask you, how do you quickly turn a pod into a service? And the answer is you use Kubernetes um, a kubectl expose command to do that. Uh, that's the quickest way to turn pod into a service, right? That's the that's the question. So I need to re re reword that question. The next question is, how do you get details of a service? Now, the, the question, this question can apply to anything, uh, pod, deployments, what have you, right? Anything that already exists on the cluster, a secret, a pod, whatever, you can always use the command describe. So kubectl describe whatever is the command to get all the details about that particular resource, right? So this is such a common thing to do that, the, that, that it's okay to ask that question in, in a command format in an interview because the Kubernetes, somebody who has ex any experience with Kubernetes will, will, will know that. Next question, um, command to create deployment from an image. Again, if you were dealing with Kubernetes day-to-day, -day, you would know this. So uh, it's, it's super easy. You just do kubectl create. By the way, create is, is the subcommand for kubectl to create almost anything. So kubectl create and then deployment because you have to tell it what you're creating and then you give it a name, say foobar, whatever, and the dash dash image. And that is, this dash dash image is common to almost all kubectl commands which is why it's okay for an interviewer to ask you this detailed question because, again, it's a very common thing people do who are dealing with Kubernetes day-to-day, -day, right? So that's the command you run to create deployment from an image that already exists. All right, next question. Um, command to scale up deployment named whatever to two replicas. Again, that inter what the interviewer is looking for is the fact for you to know that kubectl has a subcommand called scale, right? That's the quickest way to scale something. If it's a production out, you're having a production outage, what have you, you need to scale up a deployment. And if you want to do it to command line, which is not a good thing to do, but if you decide to do that really quick, then you can just use kubectl, scale, deployment, whatever, and the options. In this case, the options would be replicas equals 1,000, whatever, right? So again, the interview is looking, interviewer is looking for to these questions whether or not you have real-life experience with Kubernetes, because if you do, you will know these things like that. All right. I hope you find these uh, um, questions and answers useful. If you do, please like and subscribe. Uh, that really helps me with the YouTube's algorithm. And I will see you in the next Kubernetes uh, interview questions video.